Okay, we are back with what I believe is our second to last tutorial, and this one is all about color correction. So, I'm not gonna color correct every single shot. All I'm gonna worry about is just the shot of me talking. So this is the way the, the shot came off the camera. Now we've been working with this footage for so long, it probably feels like it's perfectly fine. But in reality, we can really make this shot sing with just a few small adjustments. So if we click on this shot, well first, let's try and find a shot of me actually looking halfway decent. Okay, that one looks about as good as I can look. So with, that sh with this shot selected in the timeline, if we go up to effects, let's go ahead and close our transitions. If we go to color correction, we've got some options here. Now the ones that have the add-on SIG, that's telling us that, hey, those don't work in the free version of HitFilm. If you wanna use those, you've gotta throw over a chunk of change and you can start using them. But the thing is, you don't absolutely need them. You can get away without using the paid version for quite a while and you can accomplish some very nice results. So, let's start off by doing, let's see, what do we want to do? Okay, so we've got color balance, white balance, histogram. Let's, let's do hue, saturation, and lightness. We're just gonna drag and drop this one right here and nothing happens. We need to go into our effect and let's look at our master settings and we want to crank up the saturation. Let's just click this and just kind of drag it up all the way. Maybe not quite that high, let's maybe take it down to like 90. Okay, so that's with, without. You seen a difference there? That is quite the difference. Um, and the, all we had to do was just increase saturation. So number number one, number two, number one, number two. If you're asking me, I would say it's definitely number two. Okay, so that was the first one. Let's go ahead and drag the curves effect down here as well. Drop it down. One of the things I like to do is doing like a nice little S curve. And I'll show you what that is. Gonna click right here, make a dot. Click up there, make a dot. Drag this S curve down just a little bit. Drag this this one up just a little bit. That's probably too extreme. Let's make this a little bit less of an S. So basically you're trying to make like, this is an S. We're basically taking the shadows, bringing them down a little bit, bringing the highlights up a teeny tiny bit, and it gives us this. So this is with, without, with, without. It kind of brings your black levels down a little bit. It makes your highlights a little bit higher, and it kind of gives your mid-tones, like your skin tones, a little bit more of a rich, warm feel. So once again, this is with and without. And if we start from scratch, this is where we started. This is with the saturation boosted, and this is with our curves added. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close that, close that, and let's do one more. We will do, let's see, do we have a levels effect? Let's try levels. And we'll drop it down. Okay, I am going to crush the blacks just a little bit. We can do that here, we can do that up here. I like to work inside the histogram personally. And if we change this to RGB combined, we can kind of see where our black levels are. And right now this is telling us that like this is our blacks and like this peak right here are our highlights. So this highlight that we're seeing right there, that little peak, it's probably the Cut Yeti white on the logo. And this big chunk of darkness right here is probably representative of the blacks up here, the blacks up here. And what I want are my blacks to be completely black and I want my highlights to be completely white. So let's go ahead and take the whites and bring it down just a little bit. And let's bring our blacks. Whoa! 
Tell you what, maybe I don't want it to be too crazy. So let's just see. This is with. I think it's. I kind of want to. I don't want to go that extreme. Let's just go ahead and take the blacks and the highlights. Let's just see how this feels. So yeah, I think that's feeling pretty good. So this is the color correction that we've come up with. Let's go ahead and turn off all these effects and we can go through them one at a time. So this is the saturation added. This is the S curve added. And this is our levels effect added. Not too bad. And now everything looks a lot better. I've found a free software that you... Now what you can do is you can take these effects and do the same exact thing to our stock footage if you want to. And that way all your footage is color corrected, it doesn't feel flat, everything feels rich, and it just feels that much more professional and gives people more of a reason to continue watching your video. Okay, oh, we were also gonna clean up this timeline, and something I've noticed that we haven't addressed yet is that we still have this audio that's not really doing anything because this is the end of our music, goes down and this right here should be the end of our video so we're gonna go ahead and take and drag this on over and now it's officially the end of our video and that's it in the next tutorial we are going to walk through the render process this is what you do whenever you are finished with your edit and you're ready to show your creation to the world. So, last tutorial, here it comes.